All right, here's a bit of a quick introduction to using MuseScore. When you open up the downloaded desktop version of MuseScore, um, you'll come up with this page. So you can double click and create a new score and you're able to name the piece. So we're gonna name this storytelling um, example. You can add in all these kind of information Piece of information that will come up at the top of your piece but we're going to just leave them blank for the moment press continue now we want two different staves a treble and a bass so we're going to go for grand staff you can see there we've got the treble line we've got the bass line uh, we're going to press continue our piece is going to be in c major so we're going to leave this on this press continue and then those two measures is enough for the moment so we're going to press done okay now lots of options come up now can see on the screen now um, we're going to input two different chords a C major chord C E and G and an F major chord F A and C okay so we want the four beat semi brief note so we're going to select that and you can see the blue note then comes up on the screen there where we can input them so There's the C chord, a C, an E, and a G, and then an F, A, and C. Now, to get rid of this blue note, so that we don't keep on putting random notes all across the piece, press escape on your keyboard, and we can then listen back. All right, so maybe we want to make this the basis of our piece. Press shift and select the next bar. We can then press command C, command V, command V, or option V, maybe on your keyboard. Option V, sorry, not option, command, it is command. All right, so the chords are then, then in there. Maybe we'd wanna put this, move this over to the bass so that we can make this the melody. You can press command X so you copy it, uh, sorry, you cut it, okay, and move it there. It would then it looks quite high, doesn't it? If you press command and an arrow, it takes it down an octave. This might sound a bit low now. Let's have a listen. We could then that would then free up this treble clef stave to be able to create the melody. Now again, you for the melody you're gonna to want to have a bit more variation in the notes you put in. So you could then play around with some of these notes. Maybe again, command C, move it around, command V, take it up a, a pitch, something like that. Now you can see we're starting to see these symbols coming in sharps and flats. We do not want any sharps and flats. So we could just press that and it will take you back to normal. move those notes around so just have a play around with that and then see what melody works alongside the chords